All right, all right, all right, settle down. But come on in anyway, and please excuse the mess. I have been extremely busy um, doing stuff. Last night I took myself out for Chinese. I was gonna invite you guys along, maybe on a live stream or, or recorded, but uh, it was awful. The food was disastrous. I don't know how to order Chinese or the things that I like. I thought in my quest for self-love, I took myself out on a date and I'm all for two on self date nights and uh, it's just not working for me. So if I ask you out on a date, you should really refuse because the food will end up being awful unless you're good at ordering food. But let's quickly have a look outside. It's really beautiful here in Toronto today. Nice fluffy clouds. The sun is out. Humidity is quite low. so. Let me know what the weather's like where you're watching from and where you're watching from. Always want to know where my viewers are from. But let's go inside. I got a couple of interesting things. Uh, I want to talk about Annie some more. It is kind of crazy what is going on with this Annie. Uh, when I'm wearing it, it gets a lot of attention. When I'm not wearing it, it gets a lot of attention. And what do I mean by that? Well, uh, I wore a portrait of a lady today. This one, this is uh, a little bit older bottle than this one. I'm not sure how much older, whatever, but so, I was minding my own business when somebody came over and they were just really meekly, hey, uh, so um, what was that cologne you were wearing yesterday? And I was like, uh-huh, really? Um, I was really surprised, but not because uh, it's it's weird, you know, it's, it's just weird the reactions I've been getting. Uh, every time I've worn it, I've gotten attention and feedback and not since uh, Frederick Moll's The Moon has anything commanded this much attention. As goofy and silly as it is, it somehow works. It's, it's really just, like I said, mass pleasing and it is an atomic bomb. I didn't realize how strong it was until I sprayed it on my friend and even whilst wearing portrait of a lady which is not weak by any matter um this thing completely drowned it out every time he walked by he was literally all i can smell um just trails of this i, I honestly i can't believe how strong it is it's insane and i and i did mention that it just completely throws itself off skin this thing doesn't lie around it's very busy and it's very active and i remember telling him Dude, you smell like a lemon cello. And he burst out laughing, but he really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, just, just really weird. I don't know. It's like interesting weird. Uh, noticed a lot of people agreed with the synthetic comments. I don't think it's, it's that bad, but you know, if, if you smell a lot of things, you'll notice. If you're not a traditionalist, you probably won't even care, but whatever. It, I mean, for what it is, it's it's quite good. Want to show you some other things here since I've got portrait out here is the limited edition uh, synesthesia bottle, which you guys have probably seen where Frederick matches scent with color. And since it is the 20th anniversary for Frederick Mull, um, they are releasing some new limited edition bottles and here is one of them. So I think it's going to be seven bottles and it's going to be their best sellers most likely. Uh, I'm a little bit irritated with the fact that it's pretty much the same bottles from the Synesthesia collection and was hoping for something different. Um, sure the bottles look different but it's just basically the same perfumes. It would have been nice if we got a, a new release. Um, that doesn't look like it's gonna happen, or at least it hasn't been announced yet, but I think these bottles are absolutely stunning. Let me just flick this over. How did I do that? 
one second here. Oh, there we go. There's 2000 to 2020, 20 year anniversary, limited editions. And there's the bottle. I guess it says here, well, this one's portrait of a lady. Uh, I think it's going to be Carnal Flower, Musk Ravageur, Bigarade Concentré, En Passant. Hmm. I can't remember what other ones, but it doesn't matter. Um, I've got another unboxing for you guys. I'll, I'll turn this around and show you. It's another Gucci. I had it yesterday. I didn't. I didn't want to run it and uh, prolong that video anymore. But really enjoying these Gucci's. I see a lot of you guys are enjoying them in the comments as well. Um, enjoying both of these, actually. The Louis Vuittons, I am enjoying this this Middle Eastern collection. Not not so much Le Sable Rose. I, I don't care for this. Let's get rid of that. I do like these two a lot. Um, a Midnight Stroll would be comparable to this. This is a very dry, smoky incense. Uh, liturgical incense, this is uh, piney, woody incense. Um, so dry, not dry, this is, I don't know, wet? What would I call it? It's a little bit sweeter. This lacks a lot of sweetness. This is a, I wouldn't even call this sweet, to be honest. Um, it is, yeah, it's wet. I would call it more wet. Uh, even the oud, this oud is a lot more wet than the Gucci. The Gucci oud is uh, completely dry. It's just absolutely bone dry. Um, two very different ouds. This is rose oud, and the Gucci has no oud whatsoever. Even these, they're you know, they're both incense based, but two very different perfumes. Both very beautiful in their own right. Somebody asked me which one do I prefer, and my preference goes here. And but that's not to say that there's anything wrong with the night stroll but have a look here at the at the bottle presentations both bottle presentations are, are gorgeous this is a magnetic cap this is friction but they're just it's just really similar here with the cap and then the ring that goes around I thought that was interesting um, really like both of these bottles but anyway I'm gonna turn this around and I will show you one more Gucci What's up? All right, so Voice of the Snake. That, that's what this is, Voice of the Snake. And we're gonna unpackage it. Got a ton of samples. Uh, Voyage de Hermes, Terre de Hermes. I don't, I'm not sure why they're giving me this. Everybody owns this stuff. Uh, Creed's Viking. Smelt that briefly. Killian, Woman in Gold. Do I need to try this? I've never, I'm not familiar with very many Killians. Good girl gone bad. This looks like a pretty big sample. What are these? Uh, oh, 7.5 mils. Look at that. Nice. Good girl gone bad. Uh, more Killians. Oh, one just fell out. And this is a Black Phantom. Never tried it. Somehow I just, I, I can't mesh with Killian. This is intoxicated. Again, I have no idea what it smells like. Uh, these are more Killian, I believe. Oh, damn. These are big samples. Moonlight in Heaven and Love the Way You Feel. Very nice. These are really nice atomizers. I mean, they're probably made in China, but they look nice. Let me just, uh, there you go. Okay, so there's that. Um, big sample of Oduel. Cartier Declaration d'un Soir, four mil sample. I think that's the uh, declaration with Rose. Aqua Parma Quercha. Quercha's the oak moss, isn't it? 
Okay, Aqua de Parma face clay mask. Face clay mask. <laughs> wow. What else do we got here? Elixir de Merveille, which I have. L'ombre de Merveille, which is the new um, Merveille, which I don't have, which smells kind of like bubble gum to me. I'm not sure that I like it. And we have more Terre de Hermes, Terre de Hermes of Vetiver, more face wash. Ah, this is a thickening shampoo. Got a sample of Eau Capital. And here is a voice of the snake. What do you think of that name, a voice of the snake? What do you think of the names in general? Uh, Midnight Stroll. The names are a little bit, I, I don't know, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about these names. Let me have a quick look here. It almost feels like they're trying too hard with the names. Alchemist, I guess this would be at the top. Give me one second here. Let's do this properly. The Alchemist Garden. Okay, so we have a chant for the nymph, a forgotten rose, a kiss from Violet, a midnight stroll, a nocturnal whisper, a song for the rose, a winter melody, fading autumn, Hortus Sanitatus, Sanitatious. Moonlight Serenade. Ode on Melancholy. They've really gotten away from traditional French names. Tears of Iris. <sighs> Eyes of the Tiger. These kind of remind me of, is it like Stephen Humbert Lucas? Those, was it him using these, these really weird names? The Last Day of Summer. Virgin Violet, Voice of the Snake, Winter's Spring, Winter's Spring. Really? What does that mean? Winter has like separate seasons. Okay. So let's open this Voice Voice of the Snake. I didn't know a snake had a voice, but apparently Gucci and Alberto Marias think so. Voice of the snake. Okay. I love the sound of that cello. It's like music, opening perfume. All right, enough horsing around. There's the drawstring baggie, the dust bag. I don't ever use these. If I travel, I don't take bottles with me. Maybe one or two, I'll take samples. But I think these are cool, nice, nice for the package. Okay, again, like the colors that they've used, the just, it feels like really high quality paint, really thick black paint there. Bottles are heavy. They got detailing on the cap. There's the snake. All the bottles seem to have some sort of animal on it. Midnight Stroll has that leopard. And um, Tears of Iris has the owl. So they got this animal theme here. Uh, voice of the snake, Gucci. So... Again, friction cap, really tight, just the way I like it. Line up the atomizer. Let's give this a whirl, just like always. And I remember this being really dry. Yeah, like shoe polish. Really dry and spicy. It's, it's nothing like the Louis Vuitton 
dry, woody, spicy. It's a touch, there's a touch green. It's gotta be like green cardamom or something. Now the oud, I don't think it's real oud. It doesn't smell like real oud at all. It's, it's synthetic, but it doesn't smell synthetic or cheap. And I don't get any of the nerlimbanol. It's, 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 it's very smoky again, just like Midnight Stroll and Tari. They're both very smoky. Midnight Stroll is much more smokier uh, and perhaps more dry. I feel like there's some leather in here as well. It's nice, but not as nice as the Louis Vuitton. Uh, the Louis Vuitton's got oud. I mean, rose, it's got rose and oud. The Louis Vuitton to me is miles nicer than this. I like this, but it's not, it's not mind blowing. And uh, it's good, it's good, but it's not, Exclusive, good. Oud, warm, spicy, patchouli, woody, earthy, leather, saffron. Hmm. Okay. This perfume reminds me of Santal Royale. One vote. I like it because it's dry and it's not sweet. The Louis Vuitton is much sweeter. It's there's there's something breathing here. I wonder if this turns animalic. It would be nice if it does, but um, there you go. Voice of the snake. Uh, for a little bit more, you can have ombre nomad. I prefer the Louis Vuitton um, Middle Eastern collection, but as as I'm not crazy about Louis Vuitton's men's releases, the men's line. I find them a little bit too streamlined and a little bit boring, to be honest, besides uh, um, the leather one, which is, uh, shit, I forgot what it's called, Nouveau Monde. Nouveau Monde is really good. The rest are just like, hmm, oh hum, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Love reading your comments as always, and I will see you guys very soon. Love ya.